does the president have dementia? That is a credibly offensive question to ask. How does uh, Mr. Biden win votes when people don't have as much disposable income? All the important uh, groceries, those costs have gone down because of what this president has been able to do. And, th- and with that, thank you so much, Mark. Have an amazing, amazing day. Wow. Wow. And she hung up. The White House denying Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre hung up on my next guest during an interview. His name is Mark Garrison. He is a radio host and the news director at WBT Charlotte. Mark, how did this interview come about? Well, uh, simply, I got a call from the White House uh, and said that uh, uh, she had an availability on Tuesday morning, would like to talk about the president's visit here in North Carolina, and would I be interested in talking to her? And I said, sure. Do you <laughs> That's think, how it happened. Do you think anybody at the White House has ever listened to your show or your station? You know, that's a really good question. I mean, at night, you can pick us up all the way uh, from Canada to Cuba, as we like to say. But, yeah, my best guess is probably not. The White House Deputy Press Secretary says that this is a manufactured pre- uh, controversy that she often has back-to-back interviews, and this is how she, apparently this is how she ends other interviews. I don't know if that me, uh, measures up, but from your perspective, do you think she hung up on you after you asked about the dementia question? Oh, I, there's no question in my mind she hung up. Uh, I, I mean, look, I've done lots of these kinds of interviews before where people are on a tight schedule, and when you been, begin to run out of time, they simply say, oh, look, I'm sorry, I've got to go. I hope you have a nice day, and mm-hmm. usually there's a quick goodbye, thank you very much. There was none of that. It was like, have a wonderful day, click. <laughs> okay, 86% of people in the ABC poll that we just had about four weeks ago said that they think the president is too old to run for re-election. And then it's around 60 65% of people say that they think he doesn't have the mental acuity in order to be president again. So I don't think the question is out of bounds. Are you surprised that they don't have a better answer? Oh, I really am. I mean, uh, the fact that she, uh, what surprised me was that she said she was so offended by the question. To me, and of course, you were in the White House and you understand what it's like to have talking points, but also to prep for interviews. I, the, the fact that it almost caught her by surprise, uh, I've, I was stunned by that, really. Listen to this. This is a montage of voters who are struggling with higher prices. Listen. It's hard. It's very hard, especially for people that don't have that extra income. You're like, are you going to eat this week or are you going to save money to pay rent? $200 easily, and it's like not even, that's not even two weeks of groceries. So it's just not a stretch to say that people are worried about food prices. She tried to answer that a little bit. My final question to you is the reason Biden had his press secretary doing media in North Carolina is because they think it's a swing state. They want to try to win it. Yes. And you tell me, what are the chances right now of Biden winning North Carolina in the reelection effort in 2024? Well, the, the latest polling here shows uh, Trump running about 2 percent ahead. Of, there is another poll that gives him 3 percent. You know, about a third of the voters here in North Carolina are independents or unaffiliated. So they're the swing votes. And I, I, at this point, I think Trump can pull it out, although it's interesting. Four years ago, he only beat Biden by two percentage points. So it'll be close again. But uh, I think he certainly can pull it out. Mark Garrison, thanks for being on the show today. We'll have a nice send-off. Sure. Goodbye. Uh, I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.